Hello, I'm going to do one more video today. This is the video of the iRobots imprint link. So if you have the new Brava M6 and you can link it with the S9 or i7 series robot vacuum. So here we'll launch the app. And if you click the clean button, as long as you have both robots, you can actually select to do the both the vacuum and the mop. So let's go ahead and choose your room. So for the vacuum, I wanted to do the how about the front hallway? Okay. And for the mop. We are going to do the same thing, the front hallway. All right, so they're both ready. They're both we're going to do the front hallway. So let's go ahead over to the S9. And we are going to click clean. So today I have it on low powered setting mode so you can hear the sound of it. And I also have it doing one pass. Uh, I'll upload a video of the different modes these robotic vacuums have. So one thing I would like to show you is, um, is if you can change the power setting on the fly. Let's go ahead and go back into the app and we're going to preferences. See if we can update the power setting. Yep. So that's medium. And then that's high power. We go back to medium. And back down to low.
Okay, so here's the edge cleaning. It does fairly well. I'm trying to get in the nook and crannies of up against the wall. And then it kind of goes in the backwards motion to make sure it gets that corner. That's a lot better than what if you would vacuuming. Um, I would say it's up there with the other robotic vacuums. It does a fairly good edge cleaning. So how the Roomba S9 works is it will go in a back and forth pattern and then it will finish up with the perimeter. It does fairly well with navigating objects. Um, I think it improves over time after it runs this area a few times. It kind of imprints and learns what are objects and what are like open space. And again, here's it backing up and trying to get the corner there. Okay, so now it's done cleaning. You notice that blue ring represents it going back to the dock. The video. Yep, let's see if it does the mop now. So you hear that sound, that's it emptying its dust bin. Okay, um, is it, there we go. I guess there was a slight delay telling the Brava Jet to mop. Um, I apologize, this is the first time I've actually done this feature, so I didn't know exactly how it would work. No way, it's not gonna eat my daughter. So this is the wet mode, uh, deep cleaning. Let's see if you can see the water there. Alright, and I'll show you the different modes on this guy. So we're gonna go to the mop. Let's try to go to preferences. All right, so right now I have it for deep clean. So let's try the medium sized water. See if that changes anything. I don't know if you guys can see that.
I can't tell if it makes a difference. Let's try less water. See what that does. Is it squirting less water? It looks like it squirts a little bit less water. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it, I can definitely hear that it doesn't squirt for as long. Okay, now let's try the extended coverage mode. Let me try to focus on that. Okay. Let's see if it so it looks like for extended coverage mode, it goes, does longer strokes. So if I go back to the deep cleaning mode, every time you select something, it beeps at you. So this is the deep cleaning mode. You notice that the stroke is shorter I don't know. Maybe I, I can't tell the difference between the extended coverage mode and the tough mess mode. Um, I thought it was the length of the uh, going back and forth, but it looks like they're about the same. Um, let's try the last mode, which is standard. Okay, so the only thing I could tell right now is the water. Um, basically, if you do less water, it squirts for less amount of time. If you do more water, it squirts longer. So, if I'm, I go back to the long spray, you notice how long it sprays for. And let's go back to deep clean mode. It's kind of cool that you can do this on the fly while it's on a cleaning job. Most robots, you have to stop the job and then change the setting. Okay, um, that's basically it. It's just going to finish up this area and um, return back to its home base. Hopefully this gives you an example of how the Roomba implant link works. Thanks for watching.